Are we? Today I have started taking a new type of medication. I am letting you know just in case over the course of the next three months you notice any personality changes or if I start identifying as a woman. It is the new pill that they have got me taking. I have to take 10 pills in the morning. Let that sink in. That is how fucked up in the brain I am. I have to take 10 pills at the start of every day. And then there's more throughout the rest of the day as well. On the topic of pills, this is written by David Peter. It is Extra Factors Issue 5. And it has a good cover, but the cover is mighty close to a poster cover. This issue does focus on this character, Squealy's daughter, Bangle. And it is a nice cover of a... But I will let you decide yourself if it is a poster cover or not. The recap page here. And it seems every issue of this Extra Fact does run. I have a new thing to complain about on these. And in this case, there is information offered in this that is outright wrong. And it is important stuff that is about this issue. Bangle was brutally beaten and left in an alleyway in the last issue. And this recap page screws up recapping that part. All for the sake of one of David Peter's little jokes. Enjoy the miserable colouring. The really upsetting thing with the colouring is that the colouring itself would be great if they were willing to let anything not be muted and dark. It's mostly like a slightly more detailed style of flats. I guess you didn't want this story to be bright and colourful. One of our cast members, Spinkter, he has gone in search of Bangle, who has disappeared. They didn't know about a uh, attack. She has just gone missing. And what has happened is she has been kidnapped by a crazy man who looks remarkably like the book's writer David Peter David Peter with a bad to pay on that's who our bad guy is for this issue he is tied up and gagged Bangle. Not an easy going story, this one. And this guy, he is a nutty nut bar who is nuts. And he wants to demonstrate all the power he has over this woman. And he is bitter about being a mutie, but also that he lost is muty powers and bangle bangle cannot use her powers because her vocal cords were damaged in the beaten so let's use this opportunity where a woman isn't blabbing on about being pregnant <laughs> or gender equality to do a talk about Bangle and her history. Bangle was introduced in Spider Girl 30 whatever and she was a Christopher Clairvoyant character. She was a true Christopher Clairvoyant character in that he just took a pre-existing character and made a copy. 
she was Squealy's daughter. And the surprising thing is that she barely mattered for 15 years. I guess Squealy didn't matter for just as long too. After her first appearance, her next appearance didn't come until Fallen Angles, where she was a main character and had a relationship with Multiplication Man, a relationship that David Peter retconned away. She made some brief appearances during the Shadow King story that Christopher Claravoyant didn't finish. Love the art in that one, where she finally meets her dad on panel. But it is Christopher Claravoyant, so the reunion of father and daughter doesn't matter because they are not his pet characters. Her fortunes started changing when she joined Excellent Force, a series she remained in for almost... All of its existence. She went through a few different major story arcs in Excellent Force. She got through about four different new looks. And she got it on with half the guys. Thunderpath. Cannonballs. And one of the main ones being Dead Pills. Her uneven relationship with Dead Pills became a big thing for Dead Pills as a character. I think Marvel dropped that. It's not a part of Dead Pills' world anymore because they want him to be a boring Looney Tunes wacky character instead of a person. She had been out of play for a while by the time David Peters started this series and included her as part of the cast. She had not really been doing much since Excellent Force ended. And they just don't have all-star casts like this nowadays. I have criticised the perspective on comic book covers before and I want to say that this poster has an even worse understanding of perspective than every comic book artist except for two and it is up to you to guess which two. Our other character is Spinter, real name Andy Richter. Another character from Excellent Force. I'm not sure it is worth ganning over his history much, but I do really like this character. In fact, I wish his Marvel Legends action figure didn't come in a free pack with a bad Dominoes and a Cannonballs with mismatched legs. That are actually meant for a figure they released without legs. I absolutely would have gotten this Cannonballs. But he didn't have any legs. Maybe I can luckily find someone selling this Cannonballs figure loose. With the legs that are meant for this figure from the box set. Spink does it is a bit long for my tastes. In my mind, I remember him more with a similar to my own. Shorter at the back, longer at the front. So, poor Bango. She is being tortured by this creepy David Peter lookalike. And I will actually do Spinkna's history because it means I have to focus less on the woman who is tied up and getting slapped around. Spinkna was introduced in Extra Factors, the first series, in issue 17, which I have reviewed. And he was part of that book's cast for a few years. 
he was one of the stars of this mini series, as was Fire Fists, R.I.P. Fire Fists. And then Spinkter shifted over to New Muties and stayed until nearer the end when they truly morphed into Excellent Force. After the first year of Excellent Force, Spinkter came back and eventually rejoined the team. He stayed there until Fabio Nicieza left. And then after that, he was mostly dropped from the series. Genuinely, really like the character. Good character. And like Bangle... He returned in this Extra Factor series after a long period of inactivity. But in his case, one of the big changes was that Spinkter had lost his muty powers. I realise I have neglected to mention what either Spinkter or Bangle's powers are. Spinkter, he had the typical Earth manipulation powers, the earthquake sort of powers, powers that we have seen on such classic characters as one member of Justice League Detroit. Bangle had a dad's powers, the sonic scream, not that their powers are doing them any good in this one. They kind of really use them. Spinkter, he shows up to save Bango. And he wrestles David Peter in an airpiece. And then Spinkter kills him. The same way John McClane killed that one guy in that movie. Die odds. So, the man saved the damsel in distress. And the moral of the story is, if you are a woman, always be friends with a man, so that a man can save you. I don't know what to say about this issue. It's not bad at all. I have joked about it. And avoided really talking about it. But it is a totally okay issue. It's decent. I like both the characters we have in this. And that helps a lot. So I think I've got to give it 7 thumbs up.